Chloe, here's the thing to understand in Coinbase Commerce is you select which one of the cryptocurrencies you'll accept. And then they have the option to pay you in those. So right now, the options available are these that we're seeing, and you've selected all of them. So okay. if somebody wanted Flightcoin or something, can I pay you in Flightcoin? The answer is no. The analogy of this would be if someone came and said, can I pay for your location in yen? And you'd go, no, I'm sorry, we don't take yen. Yes. Okay. Okay. You know, we take dollars and we take Bitcoin and we take Dogecoin, you know, and so, and Litecoin, these are the ones you'll accept. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Important to understand because some people go, I need to buy some so I can accept it. And they don't. Yeah. Coinbase Commerce right now is one of the easiest I found for yes. merchants to set up and be able to accept cryptocurrency. The key thing to me in accepting in the business is having a separate system that is acting kind of like a merchant account for you to accept cryptocurrency. Yes. And Coinbase.commerce to me is the easiest one to set up right now. My educational advice only, remember I'm not a financial person or anything else is just education. In my business, what I do is I have a, a separate even wallet that I keep the money in from my fund buying or selling cryptocurrency. And then that is, then I can transfer that into my bank account. Would you go to your website and now show where you are accepting them and, and you put it on the website? I think that's exciting. I did. That's the opening page here. Yeah. And there it is right there. And I have it again on the reservations page. Yeah. And because there can be different rates on the times they're staying yes. and so forth, you know, you have different locations and each room's different. What will occur is if someone wants to pay in cryptocurrency, you will then tell them, okay, I'll send you an invoice for it. That's and then it will be linked to fiat money at the time. And then they'll pay. And the other thing for people to understand is the, the fees for being able to pay it instead of they pay those fees for the processing of it versus a merchant account, the merchant correct. pays for the fees. That's correct. Now you have it available for people who like to, to rent your place, rent yes. one of your rooms in cryptocurrency. Yes. Which is really exciting. Since all of my rooms are different prices and nobody's staying the same amount of time. I can't put any set fees on my website. I can't put a link on the site. You have to get that from me. Chloe, I like to show people in Coinbase.commerce how to accept payments and the options it gives. So would you click in the lower left-hand corner? And, and I would accept payments. Yep. You can sell a product. And that's where it'd be a fixed price. Like if, you know, room X always costs so much. Yes. Like selling a product, you can send an invoice, which is what you will generally use, or you could accept a donation. We want to click send an invoice. And you then send it to you. Yeah. Send it to me and put $5 in it. Or Ooh, $2, I'm get $2. Rich here. I don't care. $5 is fine. All right. Email. Which email, Martin? Okay. We'll uh, put in. Uh, gmail.com and I'm graying this out for our audience. Okay. Demo, and just put test invoice. Create invoice. Right. Ready to share okay. your invoice and this is what it is right here. Now I want to talk about this. You can either copy this and put it in the email to send or if your computer set up where if you open up an email, it will open up an email service like Outlook or something else, you can click write an email. And yours apparently set up that way. Well, we 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 did all those things, but adding my logo and picking the colors. Good. Okay. So, and then I, I I have been adding something in here. Cool. Then go ahead and do whatever you want to add. Yeah. Oh, this is in a different font, obviously. Yeah. Now we want to send it. Yep. Go ahead and send it. I'm going to go ahead and get into my. Uh, email and watch for it coming. Okay. So now it's on my end and I want to show what it looks like. So I'm going to click on this invoice. Did you see my logo? Did it come up? I don't it's know. up at the top. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's see how little it is? Yeah, I understand. But they told us it had to be little. Yep. 
And so you know, what, what's important to note is, see, there's the amount and I can pay with. Oh, yeah. With Maybe I just hit. Bit. Or I can pick which crypto I want to use. So if I pick Bitcoin, I pick Bitcoin. <laughs> it's then going to give the amount and the, the address hash to send the money to. Now, for this video, I'm graying out the QR code and the address hash, but I could now, if I had a crypto wallet on my phone, I could scan the QR code here and be able to send it directly to you. Okay. And here's the thing. It says it will expire in 58 minutes because remember, this is changing over time. So we've got to, now when we started it, we need to go ahead and pay it. I'm going to grab this as a copy and then go into my wallet and pay it. So hang on. Next, I'll open up my crypto wallet to send you the Bitcoin using this address. We're in here and I am going to put in the address to send it to. Uh -huh. I'll trade this out and then for the test. Okay. And then see, I'm picking the coin to pay with. So you, I want you to pick a different one. So I'll see what happens. No, then it'll be lost forever because I'm sending Bitcoin. If I send Ethereum to a Bitcoin address, that doesn't work. Why are you, why do you have to pay with Bitcoin? I don't have to pay with Bitcoin. I chose to grab your Bitcoin receiving address to pay. Oh, okay. I could have picked, remember on your, on the email, I could have picked several, but I chose to pick that one. Okay. And then it says, okay, are you sure you want to do it? Okay. And then look at the total. Do you see that $5 and 13 cents? The cost of sending this is 13 cents. Yes. So, you know, if, if I wanted to send it really fast and I had a wallet that gave me slow, faster, faster, I, I could probably get it sent faster. The more, or I would be able to get it sent faster, the more money I'm willing to put behind the processing. Yes. Okay. So this is important to understand. So now I'm going to send now. And it says payment received estimate about 30, 30 minutes. minutes. Yeah, I didn't read all that part when I was doing it. Okay, this is a test. But you want to see, this is why. But what does it say? Four ninety nine at the top. Okay, so four ninety nine is the uh, conversion right now since we've been doing it. So it's you know. Yeah. Okay, so let me send it. It you can't turn around when you do this. See how it warns you. Yes, it does. It's send. Now yeah. we see unconfirmed payment is where. Yeah, right. Okay. okay. All right. So right now we're at unconfirmed payment. So what if we owned a coffee shop and I paid for a cup of coffee? Okay. Yeah. And I got at least unconfirmed payment. The chances are it's going to go through because it's the, the game's in play. It's been put out. It's been broadcast. It's, you know, the system's working. It's just priorities getting it done. And what's exciting is we just demonstrated you generating invoice like you would a customer. Which was, after you helped me set it up, was really easy to generate the invoice. Yep. And then uh, me paying the invoice. And now the ball's in play. Well, this is exciting. So this completes another tutorial, folks. Please click subscribe and the bell so you'll see future videos. And just want to let you know, we'll have a link below of the wonderful big mail. <laughs> If you want to stay there in Williamston, North Carolina.